as somebody who's tasked herself with the challenge of providing really fun, unique, and original book recs for you guys, I always want to make sure I'm giving you guys recommendations that you're truly excited about and want to read. So with that being said, I decided to take it to my Instagram story and ask you guys for prompts for different types of recommendations you would want. Mostly just like specific tropes or little details from books that like you really like and you're looking for something similar. Um, and I picked out a couple of the ones that you guys gave me and today I'm going to be sharing my answers with you and giving you guys the recommendations to the tropes that you actually requested. So I hope that this is like a helpful format for giving recommendations. Obviously I really like to do one video with one trope and give you all the recommendations under there but I feel like doing this and then you guys letting me know in the comments which tropes you want like a whole video catered towards will be super helpful for both of us. So definitely let me know in a comment or if I don't cover the trope that you really want recommendations for of course let me know about that but let's get into the ones that you requested on my story also you should follow me on instagram because that's where i ask you guys for a lot of input on my videos so lovely like lara over there first prompt that was probably the most requested on my story was enemies to lovers obviously this is a classic trope that i think all of us really enjoy so for this one i'm giving you guys iced out by ce richie this is actually the first of an upcoming series none of the other books are out yet but they're going to be companion novel kind of standalone novels but they all kind of interconnect you guys know the deal but this first book was absolutely phenomenal I actually read it recently it is a gay romance about two hockey players which I feel like I've recommended a lot of like gay hockey player books this one however had a really fun plot both of these guys are on the same team and they absolutely hate each other they've literally had beef since high school and then they go into college and they end up playing for the same team one of the boys is kind of NHL royalty like his dad and his uncle both play and we're very famous so he's kind of like the preppy one who kind of has had everything handed to him so to speak. The other boy kind of started from the bottom and made his way up on his own and I think that there's a lot of tension between them because of that but they have this really intense rivalry but one night when they're at a party together they're kind of bickering and one thing leads to another and they basically end up hooking up okay. Up to this point they've played a couple games this season and they've lost every single one of them but the day after they end up hooking up at this party they win their next game. So being the superstitious hockey players that they are they think it has to do with them hooking up and they're like you know what like we need to keep hooking up that's the only way that we'll keep winning these games like they're very superstitious about it so they decided an agreement and they kind of go from there but they literally hate each other and it's so fun to watch this story unfold as I said the enemies to lovers is very palpable but I feel like the circumstance of this story makes for a really interesting read I absolutely flew through this and I'm so excited to read the next books in the series because I absolutely loved C.E. Ritchie's writing. I'd never read anything from them. So really excited and looking forward to the next book in the series, but definitely pick this one up first and wait patiently with me for the rest because it was phenomenal. Next up I chose Best Friend's Brother. A lot of you guys wanted Brother's Best Friend as well, but I feel like I need to do a whole video for that. But Best Friend's Brother, my recommendation is These Thorn Kisses by Saffron Kent. Again, this is a part of a series, but it can totally be read as a standalone novel. It's the only book about these two characters. This book follows this girl who one night is walking home from this ritzy event that she doesn't want to be at and she runs into this guy and immediately upon meeting this guy she's like this is the love of my life like I have been dreaming about this moment I feel like we're just meant to be like they have this whole conversation and she's very drawn to him um, but then she ends up going home they never see each other fast forward a little bit in time she ends up at this all-girl school for troubled teenagers and when she gets there she ends up running into this man again and it turns out that it is her best friend's older brother and so you kind of get to see the unraveling of that and how they kind of meet again and if he recognizes her and remembers her and how she reacts around him. I really loved this one. I love Saffron Ken. All of her books are super juicy and her characters are super eccentric and fun. So I highly recommend this one. You can read the whole series, of course, but this is the one for Best Friend's Brother and I really like this one. It's probably my favorite in the series. There's a new one that just came out that I do need to read, so I haven't read it yet, but this is book three. 
I highly recommend it. Next recommendation that you guys wanted is Grumpy Sunshine Trope, which happens to be a favorite of mine. This one I actually have a fun rec. It's called The Stranger in Seat 8B by Nikki Castle. This is actually a short novella, kind of like a short story. It's not super long. You can literally read it in one sitting, but I absolutely loved it and I just have to share it with you guys. It follows this woman who's very business oriented. She's a lawyer. She's just very serious about her career and she's actually the grumpy one. So I thought this was fun because usually when you're reading Grumpy Sunshine, it's always the girl is the sunshine. But no, in this one, she's the grumpy. She's on a flight and she gets seated next to this guy who's the sunshine character and they kind of bicker with each other a little bit on this flight. She just wants to like respond to emails, do her thing. Thing, and he is very interested in talking to her. You get to read the story from both of their point of views and he's just very infatuated by her. He thinks that she's very beautiful and is also very curious about her personality because she's kind of feisty towards him. I originally thought when I was reading this that we were just going to see the whole flight and that was going to be the whole novella just because it's short, but you actually do see a little bit after and kind of get to see their story unfold slightly. So I really love this. It's super, super steamy and fun and just a really quick short read if you're trying to beef up your Goodreads goal. I would definitely read this one. It's super short. Okay, somebody on my story asked for a kidnapped recommendation, which I feel like normally I'd be like, kidnapped? Like, I've never read anything like that. But I just read one of the best books I've read in such a long time, and it does have somebody getting kidnapped in it. So I was like, this is like happenstance. I have to give this recommendation now. And the book is called Lotus by Jennifer Hartman. I feel like a lot of you have probably heard of this book, but I had just recently stumbled across it and decided to pick it up. This is actually also like a childhood friends to lovers type book. It's about a girl who grows up with this boy. They're very close, and one day he ends up getting kidnapped. And I forget how many years go by like over 10 years go by and he ends up showing up and he's alive and so you get to kind of see how they reconnect and how he is um, in adjusting to the real world again. You get to see flashbacks of him during his time being held captive and it really works up to like what truly happened and this book had me flabbergasted and I was sobbing and I was emotional and I was just a mess the whole time reading it but I really loved this story and I felt like everything clicked together so perfect and you really get a satisfying ending out of it. So highly recommend it. The romance is also super cute and adorable. Absolutely loved. This is definitely one of my favorite books I've read in such a long time. So definitely check it out. The kidnapped aspect is also super juicy. So if you're into that kind of thing, this is a book for you. Next recommendation I picked is Rivals, which I feel like is similar to Enemies to Lovers, but I had a good recommendation for this. So this is The Frat Boy by Nikki Sloan. I talked about this in my wrap up for last year. This is a part of the Nashville Neighbors series, but it can totally be read as a standalone, like I've been saying. Um, this is book four, but this follows a girl who's in a sorority and a boy who's in a fraternity, and they're literally rivals. This book opens up, and they're in this, like, intense competition against each other for some type of fraternity cup. It's, like, a whole thing. So it's definitely, like, rivals-based, but what the book spirals into gets very different than the original plot but this is really fun. It ends up with them having some issues with their sorority and their fraternity and getting kicked out, and where the book takes you is just the most fun, wild ride. I definitely went more in depth with what the plot is in my last video, but I feel like you should just pick this one up and read it. It was super fun, super spicy. Love this series. I think this was my favorite installment in the series, but it's just really enjoyable, so check it out. The next trope I really want to do a whole video for, but I hope this suffices for now, the always been you trope. I think it's so cute. The one I chose for this one is actually a series, and this series is actually all four books are about these two main characters, and I don't have a ton of series that I've read that are like that. I feel like I'm usually reading companion novels, so for that I really enjoyed it. And this is the Something in the Way series by Jessica Hawkins. Like I said, there's four books, and this follows a girl who meets this boy when she's pretty young, and they're kind of also in this whole right person wrong time race where bad things just keep happening that keep them apart. Um, this boy is also her sister's boyfriend at one point so keep that in mind. So the plot is definitely super juicy but the ride that it takes you on it starts from when she's very young and it kind of ends up with her life into the future and you get to see the whole um, explanation of everything and I really loved this series. I remember reading it in literally two days and it's four books so it totally pulled me in but when I think about 
it's always been you. It's like that person that's been with you since such a young age and just things keep getting in the way of them being together until finally one day they can see if things will work out even though so much time has passed. So that's definitely the vibe of this series. I highly recommend it. I just remember this being so enjoyable. But just keep in mind there's so many twists and turns and aggravation along the way. I mean four books of like them constantly missing each other is totally a lot. But I feel like the bits and pieces you get of them in between those moments make it so worth it. So check out this series. It's absolutely one of my favorites. Okay next trope that a lot of you guys recommended is like the who hurt you or who did this to you trope where the main character is like showing some type of concern for the other characters character which this is always like pretty juicy because it's like a huge reveal or like something that's going on um so the book I chose for this it's probably not a typical response I feel like that's usually a trope in a lot of like fantasy books where there's more action and like something crazy going on but for this I chose something a little more subtle but a lot more emotional I would say and this is a part of a series of course um it's called Pucked Off by Helena Hunting it's a part of her Pucked series it's book five you can read it as a standalone, I promise. This is the best book of the whole series in my opinion and it really stands out and feels very different from the other books. I feel like the other ones in this series are a lot more playful and fun while this one deals with a little bit of heavier topics. Um, and so this one it's about a hockey player and this girl who is a masseuse. They actually knew each other when they were kids and when they grow up and meet each other again she knows him and remembers him as her crush and he doesn't remember her but she's a massage therapist, he's a hockey player who has a damaged body and he doesn't like people to touch him and you can use your imagination to think of why. I mean it gets explained in the book but I don't want to spoil but kind of obvious there's something going on there. Um, he goes to her to get a massage and for the first time ever he doesn't feel like repulsed or a negative response to somebody touching him. So he obviously wants to continue going back to her to get massages. She's kind of like stunned because she knows this guy, it's her childhood crush and he doesn't remember her. Um, but the story kind of progresses from there and the reason I chose it for this trope is because once it's kind of unveiled what happened to him and what he's gone through. It's very much a who did this to you moment and it's just really really great. I loved this book. The characters are both just so wonderful and the way that this is like a more deep and serious book amongst these other just like fun hockey romance books, it felt very different. So if you haven't read the series you don't have to read all of them you could totally just read this one i love the whole series it's a very easy quick read but this one in particular was definitely my favorite and the biggest standout moment of the series okay the last trope that i chose for today's video is single parent it just happens to be one of my favorite tropes i just always love how these books unravel um but i chose a pretty crazy one for this i just mentioned this book in my reading wrap up for last year but i have to tell you guys about it again it's the confidence of wildflowers duet by macaulay smeltzer there's two books you have to read both of them because the first one does end in a crazy cliffhanger and so these two books are about the same couple so read both but in this book the girl is neighbors to this man who has a son and she ends up being his nanny she kind of ends up falling for this guy that she's working for and you see how that unfolds as she's nannying for his kid obviously he is the single parent in this one a dad single parent but where this book takes you you won't even know what hit you. It was the most devastating emotional roller coaster of my life that then picks you back up and gives you hope and then crushes you again and you're just a total ball of emotions reading this book. But you need to read it by the way because it was like emotional turmoil but the ending is so satisfying and wonderful and just oh my god this book took me on a ride. I read both of the books in literally a day or two so if that tells you anything and they're thick books these are pretty long so highly recommend. Macaulay always has the best emotional deep dives so if you haven't read this duet highly highly recommend it but the single parent aspect is definitely there and follows you through both books so check it out. If I did not get to your trope recommendation in this video I'm so sorry but again leave me a comment and I'm gonna get to as many as I can over the course of the year. I just really care about giving you guys recommendations that you truly want so let me know even if it's like something small and fleeting in a book that you just love like I know a lot of people love like one bed trope. Things 
things like that it's not like it's the whole book but it's like a moment that you really crave let me know I will find recommendations for it and I will give them to you promptly also last week I told you guys that I had made an Amazon storefront so I'm gonna keep using it because a lot of you guys did tell me that that was super helpful so every book that I mentioned in this video you can find on my Amazon storefront link down below if you want to purchase any of them to read have it all in one easy place for you so go check that out but Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got a new book to read. Let me know if you read any of them. Tell me about it so we can chat. I know a lot of these are like deep cuts that you're going to want somebody to talk to. So hit me up and we can talk through it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you very, very soon for my next one. Bye!